Hey squad, welcome back to Prepping with Sarge. Today we're going to review the chickpea from Knives by Nuge. Thomas Nuge is an American knife maker that I've had the pleasure of meeting both at Georgia Bushcraft and at Blade Show. And uh, I picked up the chickpea the last time I saw him, which was at Blade Show. Let's take a look at this one today. I think you're gonna like this knife. All right, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at here is, let's take a look at the steel. So the chickpea is made with Nitro V stainless steel, pretty corrosion resistant, durable, also very easy to sharpen if you need to touch it up. Uh, this blade here is a saber grind. Saber grinds tend to be a little bit more slicey dicey, perfect for like paring fruit and, and whatnot. And since we got a tomato here with us today, let's give this one the old tomato test. The tomato test is a is another good one. You guys know I like to do the paper test with my knife reviews, but the tomato test is also a good one to test sharpness of a knife. Should be able to really easily just go right through it with no work at all. So that's looking pretty good right off the bat. That's a, that's a nice start. We got a little apple here too, so might as well give a shot on the apple and see how it does with that. When I think of a knife this size, I tend to think of kind of like a paring knife. So perfect for working with some fruit, chopping up some things at your camp. If you've got some onions and peppers and things like that you want to process for your meal, this is going to do just fine or something like that. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you might remember that Thomas Nuge, we did, we, the voters voted him best new knife maker last year for 2023. All right, looking good. Look at that thin cut. Looking pretty good. Next up, we'll do a little paper test here. That was more me. And then finally, I like to do a little paracord 550 test. No problem. And last test on the sharpness here. Oops, just slipped a little bit. No problems though. It's because it's a small blade. I slipped a little bit on that, but uh, it, it got through it. It cut through it, no problem. All right, good deal. Sharpness test, we pass. Let's take a closer look at this one. So this is, there's, Thomas Nuge's logo there. And of course this is Nitro V steel, as we were saying earlier. Nitro V has a nice balance between corrosion resistance, durability, and ability to resharpen. It is a 90 degree spine. So you could actually use this to spark a ferro rod if you needed to. 
He does change it up a little bit on his website. So uh, whether you choose G10 or my Carter scales, just make sure uh, when you're ordering that you, you know what you're picking, depending on your preferences. And usually the sheath is leather. If you're looking for a Kydex sheath like mine, I would say check, check the website carefully and reach out to him if you're not sure. And this, uh, this Kydex sheath has really nice retention. So total weight on this is gonna be less than 1.8 ounces. Again, the house, how much less is gonna depend on what type of scales you're going for for your handle. Uh, and overall length is going to be 6.5 inches overall. The blade is three inches long, which means that it's going to be legal in most states. But of course, check your jurisdiction. I'm not responsible for that. That is your responsibility. Got a hardness rating of about 60 to 61 HRC. And yeah, so this is this is a fun little knife. Uh, I have a couple of Thomas Nuge's knives, and this one is my latest edition. Got picked this up in at Blade Show in what was that June I think in Atlanta. Uh, but check his website because he is constantly adding new stuff, and I really really like his designs. The niche that this would fit into for many people would be, of course, it's light enough and small enough that it could be your everyday carry and. Uh, generally speaking, a fixed blade is going to be better than a folder in most cases for most purposes. Uh, and, but the problem why most people can't or don't is because it's usually too large or too heavy to, to conveniently carry. This could actually fill that niche for you. Uh, perfect for processing food, as we said before, and you could, of course, harvest and process small game birds with this. So definitely serves a purpose for your camper, hiker, hunter, um, and for somebody who's just a knife, genuine knife collector, right? So this is the Chickpea from Knives by Nuge. Please make sure you check him out. And if you're on Instagram, give him a follow. Tell him that Prepping with Sarge sent you. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you like this. All right, folks, I hope you found that review helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to check in the description down below for some links and some discount codes for some products that I think you'll like. Keep planting your seeds, keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge.